start to develop. And once you get mold in those areas, the whole area that she rock needs to be replaced. Right now, this whole house just needs to be thrown in the garbage. It just needs to start Ooh, over. Does that make that? sense? Whole house yeah. need to be thrown yeah, away. Need to throw this whole house away. But this is the damage we need to show you because this can happen, right? I tell you what, I've been in a home, right? Because I've definitely been in a lot of different careers. Here's me going on my sidebar, right? But I worked for Comcast doing cable installation in um, individuals' <clears throat> homes, right? So I've been you know, penetrating the building envelope, all these things. But there was this one home. Went into, and I ain't gonna lie to you. Exactly. They still didn't look like this. It was probably half like this. Oh my god, do you see that, that baby? What? It's mold as fuck. Ew. I don't even use that word, but the inside of the home was just despicable. But, and I, as a contractor, I had to just say, hey, he said, you know, as a contractor, I can't do this job. It's just not safe. That shit is a moldy. It's despicable, right? I don't use that word, but yes, I just can't do it, right? So, again, team, this is not something that you can just sit by and live I with. I would not even sit the health by the ramifications that. can be detrimental. Oh my god, right? that shit look crazy. Um, as oh, look at this, this funky shit. Ear movement, um, oh, these little cracks, right? In the floor foundation, right? There was no sign of immediately sign going basement, wrong. And now you're moving into first floor that's going to be basically kind of like the foundation of your building kind of sort of right as far as the first parts of the wooden they do you not paying attention so, i don't need to i'm trying to i was trying to turn the volume said, off from the outside <laughs> in, if you have both moisture just sitting on the outside of your um building what's going to happen it's going to start to soak inside of the material and come inside, right? And this is kind of what it might look like, team. And we have to understand this because if we don't, this is how our building starts to deteriorate. If we can notify, notice these things early enough, I'm not like we can cottage. Make our building and make it last a little longer, mm. make it more efficient. Look at our back doors are, you know, the ones that have... Um, not storm doors, but the door doors for the back or the rear of the building, right? Or this is even apartment. crazy too. You won't so notice this. Flat surface. I ain't watching this. Yeah. Oh. From the space the so bird that is when crazy. any water comes through, we can shed away, just like any space in the exterior part of the building. If you ever have any cooling of water, cooling up in that space, either the the building as it was built get this and settled. Part. And now everything huh? starts to be a little bit. Huh? I don't get this part. I don't get it. Because now once it starts to get even, I don't get we this part. also about the cracks that can happen <clears throat> in basements and how we need to uh, treat that. But this is what happens on the outside surface part, right? Now it's we absorbing. have of water coming in and shedding into the building. And we've seen another picture before where it was coming in through the outside shedding doors. Right? Uh, Everybody understands what this is. Okay? That's now we have waters coming, you know, water falling onto our roof, going into the gutters, and falling through here, right? This spout. Damn. It's only flowing through here. What's going to end up happening if we have a full on rainstorm? And not only the rain that's going to fall is going to settle here, but also the rain it's that's so... going to fall and settle from the roof is going to come out here and gallons team and then start to settle all throughout right this area there. all right so now you have a whole bunch of standing water all around yeah. your home foundation you're burning something there's right. nothing on right no matter what you're going to have to come right? what it should look like as far as the gutter and the spout right coming out you should have something leaving the water <laughs> Oh, I can't get up that fast. I'm getting out of here. Because no matter what, you're still going to have some standing water build up at your building oh, base. I think I found a charger. It's just shedding the way as much as possible. Having your building either uh -huh. stand alone or... It's, I think it's like 730, I think. sure that the water is being shed off by either a slope, right? But if you have gutters... Yeah, I'm trying to stay outside for the island. You want to make sure that it's spreading the water further away, right? Maybe into...
into the sewer system instead of flowing down right next to your home, building up more standing water. Thumbs up if that makes sense. I'm not out here just, just preaching, saying something. I've never seen that. Like right, that. Maybe not a lot of us, but if you've seen something like this, this is bad. This is horrible. That looks this horrible is as fuck. Right now, only is it coming through the, the side wall. of the walls, right? Not even the tops, but the side and the bottom, but it's also coming Wait, this from is corruption. Feet. I mean, corruption crazy. Also coming from uh -huh. feet. That means when you set your excavation, remember when excavation? we talked about the construction process? It talked about the first part of the process, this excavation. All right, that part wasn't done well, right? You didn't set the excavation pro process down right. Then when you set your foundation right. floor, it wasn't on a solid foundation. And then you set your foundation walls and everything else, as we talked about the framing members. Team, this is horrible. If you've mm -hmm. ever seen something like this, this you, might as well, just, you might as well start over. Over time, you this might is going to be detrimental. So as I talked about the back doors or the sliding doors uh, of our building, of our space, of our apartment, if um, it hasn't been settled right correctly into the excavation and the foundations are settled and now things start to get uneven, water, once it builds up on the outside, is supposed to shed away from the building. Now you can see water, once it starts to rain on the outside, once it gets too much, it starts to backflow into the inside space. I 
I'm over here. I just got back from my class, my nigga. You got me? I said what? I said I just got back to my class. Yeah. What? Yeah, nigga. I mean, why don't you pop out, nigga? No. What? Shit, man, white all of you. I hate all of you. How about being so soft? Shit, why? Tell you this shit is right. She told me to get a tune. Only hoes, only like I'm moon. I look. Well, bro, shit is right. I told niggas stop with all the film. What you assume? Shit is mm. right. I ain't stay, get him at noon. What time is it, bro? It's like 8 o'clock. I got to 9. Yeah. I don't even want to be on it. Go pay for your shit, my nigga. Where they going crazy right now? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna go pay for that shit. Shit, now why? I don't know where to sleep because. I want to eat. I always it what's up going to fuck off, bro. This shit like bling, bling. <laughs> I was doing it the whole time. That shit is annoying. Yeah, it's much for going crazy. Shut up, nigga. Yo, this shit like bling, because uh, it's like mad new followers. Twitter, bro. Mm -hmm. I got mad followers, bro. Yeah, it's like I do on every social network. I be trying to get my followers up. Why? Because I need to. <laughs> That's money, nigga. My ninja. What? Uh, what you mean, how? You, you don't even make sense to me, my how. Yeah, I got money. You getting money from followers? Are you getting money now from followers? Not right now, but I'm saying I could get money from followers. Alright, you don't get it, you don't get it. Anyway. I ain't doing it, King. I, I just gotta figure it out. I wanna figure that shit out. And I am yeah, gonna figure it out sooner or later. Sooner or later. This is a 
the whole class, my genius. Yo, are you serious? This one, we on a break, my guy. Yeah, you don't hear the whole music? Yes, Jesus. Hey, you got me crying because why would you already see what's going on? And I'm tired of Twitter. What is wrong with my Twitter? No, we over break. I think we over break. Oh my god. Why is my Twitter hitting like this? I'm about to die. Yo, can you tell my Twitter to shut up? Hey. Yo, why is my Twitter hitting like that, bro? I don't know. This is a blue move. <laughs> All right. If you want to hear, you you don't want to hear it. <laughs> That shit ain't like blue. Bro, that shit ain't like blue, blue. You don't hear that shit. Oh, God, Jesus, it's really sounding crazy to me, yo. Why can't I just control my life? Like, why? Jesus, why? Yeah. Yeah, this is, I cannot control my life like this. <laughs> I would love you to death, buddy, but... Yo, shut the fuck up! Man, you don't hear my Twitter? <laughs> I do, it's really annoying. It's annoying as Since this fuck. morning. Yo, see, even my baby is saying the same shit. Yo, shut up! Yo, Yo, yeah, this is really a chat, like, yo. Yeah. Hey, if you're trying to hear it, you're gonna not hear it. Alright, I'm gonna put you closer. Her phone and my iPad. <laughs> right away, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, it's a. Or the music, right? That's the elevator music, bro. Oh, yeah, Alright, you wanna hear blue? That's that shit. Just wait till blue. You ain't here yet. That's, that's the elevator music. Do you like it? Do I like it? No, nigga. You like this music? I don't even know what the fuck they listen to. Oh, wait. The class is back on. He coming back on us up. Yo. Be back on set. This is the class, Jesus. Team. He like team. Yo, Pat, you see how annoying this class is? Yeah, but it's dope. My nigga, this is really a Alright, so in talking about moisture, we want to understand how moisture moves and how also how to measure. We can talk about this a little bit before, so some of this will be kind of a review again, talking about the wet bulb, dry bulb. I don't not want to hear this shit, also, to be honest. Also, the device. You know what I mean, boy? Again, once we get to that point. So let's go ahead uh, and begin. Uh, what? Alright, so again, 
for understanding how to measure moisture. No, I don't do water. Do. Every <laughs> difference between a wet bowl and dry bowl, the dew point, mm-hmm. how to measure water flow, and that is measured in gallons per hour. Mm-hmm. So, building mm-hmm. the cake really happens when you have a bunch of percent relative humidity. That means there's just moisture in the building all over the place. So, yes, you will have that yellow kind of decay type of look and then it will become that black type of decay type of look when a lot of mold starts to uh, occur. Right? Interior mold, again, once it's above 70% relative humidity, dust mites will happen when it's above 50% relative humidity. Static static electricity and dry sinuses are you okay? Why are you sitting in the corner like that, you bum bitch? Shut up, I'm doing something. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. I'll, no, you're not. That's your problem. There's different thresholds, and we'll look at the chart. It also depends on the temperature of your space, so it might determine how much moisture your space has. So. No, it's kind of just... ambiguous, I'm not going to lie, but once you have a sense of um, what your building should be, either 65 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, what have you, then depending on that degree where you have it, that will depend on the moisture buildup that will... No, I wish that shit was shut up, bro. Threshold, you should... Uh, Yo, this is a bad right. part. So again, we've seen this chart before. Understanding the ideal range between 40% and 60%. Right, bacteria, viruses, fungi, dust mites, respiratory infections, allergic uh, rhinitis, and asthma and chemical interactions can happen within the... Yo, drop my right? hair, yo. If you have this device... What? I said drop my hair. Who are you talking to you, like you that? You dumb bitch. Stop talking to me like that. Yo, Peg, I'm telling her to drop my hair. You think she should do it? I said she should drop my hair, right? right? This device here. If you see it, it's called a humidity. You said, why want my hair, right? Joey? We talk about how we used to measure the wet bulb and the dry I'm ready to drop right? my hair now. The difference between those two will give us um, our relative humidity. But now we just over a it device that if we just turn friend? on, it will let us know exactly the temperature in our space and our relative humidity. What, bro? Those that have what are you um, siblings saying, or man, I need members, to drop my hair, bro. Dry sinuses that have nose bleeds and things I like that. I need no space in my hair. Device here, right? Because this literally will tell you how much moisture your building has. And as we know, with those dry sinuses and those issues or those ailments, you need to buy a, a humidifier. Do you get what I'm saying? Either uh, moisten the air, or you need to buy a humidifier to dry out the air because it's too moist. What? Again, you might need a meter to figure that out. Right? It's called a humidity meter. Really is uh, the psychometric, uh, the psychrometer, right? That's what it's called. Uh, that's the device oh, that we're talking about. The same no. psychrometer, all of that. But again, having a digital one, which is pretty modern. Right? So, there you go. I want to watch a scary movie. Oh. You are a scary movie. <laughs> Yo, stop my dick, you stupid bitch. Like, I don't really duff you right now. Shut Come up. up. Yo, Pat, tell this bitch to shut up. Yo, Pat, shut up. All right, yeah. Bro, I'm not even playing with nobody. Yeah, you know, 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 so I, I'm not playing with you, you know, now. How we understand you think I'm playing with her, wet bulb, As we talked about before, the dry bulb is measured with a regular thermometer. The wet bulb is measured with a wet type of cloth around it to feel that, right, that ambiotic effect or what we call that evaporative effect. Oh, no, I thought she was still smoking. Right, from our 
Yo, she don't even know why she got a black eye, but I'm going to tell her that. Oh, my God. Why are you telling everybody I that? I have another black eye. And I'm not playing with you. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Bro, I'm sorry, bro, but this bitch don't know how to stop talking. Um, thermometer and also we would have to slinging around. We call it a sling cyclone. What do you want me to say, Pat? Exactly what that I want her to shut up. Exactly what we can measure on this digital one here. And she won't shut up. Understanding the relative humidity. Only way we can what? understand the relative humidity is understanding the difference between the wet bulb. Pat, what am I supposed to do? Thumbs up if that makes sense. All right, cool. So that means I can change. Just in case my son walked in. Telling the girl to shut up. <laughs> what you mean I'm telling her to shut up? She should All shut right, up. Keep it going. And here's one of the digital ones that they have here. And I'm just um, being honest with her. Just shut up. Yellow versions here. So that's what you're looking for. Pat. Pat. I'm telling you, it's cold. All right, so this is how it used to work. Again, <laughs> we're not in the olden days. Yo, Pat, I, so I really don't want to bother her, but I want her to shut the fuck up. To let us know how this works. But again, the difference huh? between wet bulb and dry bulb, we'll understand. Let us what know the moisture shit? that's in the air. Okay? So here's a table. Understanding the relative humidity. All what right, are you talking about, the, bro? Uh, Temperature readings that we will have, right? So the wet bulb will have a temperature, dry bulb will have its temperature. What? And depending on the reading, we'll let you know the relative humidity. We hear that a lot in the news where they will say, hey, the I was gonna turn this shit this, off. But the relative humidity will be this. Thumbs up if you ever heard that before. I can't turn this shit right. off. Now, the higher percentage in the relative humidity is basically how. Moist the air is gonna be. So I'm pretty sure many times you went outside on a hot day. Hold on. It was dry. Yeah, exactly. You talk about moisture. When it was dry, you probably need a uh, some water, right? And there's a problem. Wait, yo. Don't hear what he's saying. Uh, it's just moist. He's like, yo, it's just moist it's like the house. You talking about the house, bro. Hey, right back to the shower. Yo, Pat, you on your shit, bro. He really see chatting, bro. No, he like, that's why y'all got alligators, bro. 